Hello friends, welcome to Eltropic Cells. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Eltropic Cells. It's a 43 inch Hisense Smart LED TV. Here in this TV, the complaint is no display issue. See friends, now the TV is turned on, you can see. This is the fault. You can see the backlights are okay. See friends. The backlights are working properly. Here actually. The fault is. With this panel. Here due to internal shorting in gate signals. The panel goes to protection mode. See friends. This is the motherboard. It's a smart Android 43 inch full HD LED TV. Here in this motherboard, the T-Con board of the panel is integrated with this board. See friends, you can see the T-Con board of this panel is integrated with this board. See friends, it's a 43 inch CSOT panel. And from the motherboard, here you can see two FFC cables which are connected to the scalar PCB of the panel. This is the Decon IC. It's a CSOT panel. Here, because of internal shorting in gate signals, here this IC goes to protection mode. That's why it causes no display issue in this TV. So here, one by one, we need to block the gate signal using taping method and check the display is okay or not. This is just only a temporary solution. Remember that the permanent solution is panel replacement. However, we cannot predict how long the display will work using this method. It completely depends on luck basis. So instead of using cutting method, here we can directly use the taping method by removing the FFC cable and blocking gate signals from that side. Using the taping method. We can prevent the gate signal sending to the panel from the motherboard to the panel. So the shorting may be either from the left side or right side of the glass panel. If both sides glass panel gate signals are short then it is not repairable. We cannot predict how long the display will work using this method. It completely depends on user luck basis. See friends, here we now removed the right set FFC cable. So here as shown in the video, we need to block the last 15 pins using a Cello type. See friends, now using this tape, here I am going to block the last 15 lines in this FFC cable like this. See friends, now we successfully blocked the gate signals. See, now let us reconnect the FFC cable back to this motherboard. See friends, now we reconnected the FFC cable. Now let us turn on the TV and check the picture is okay or not. See friends, now the TV is released from the standby and the backlights are on. Now let us check the picture. See friends, now the logo comes, here you can see. Now the TV is repaired successfully, here you can see. Now the gate signal shorting is removed. So here the shorting is with right side gate signal tracks. After 
remove the shorting using taping method now the picture comes the tv is repaired successfully so once again remember that this is just only a temporary solution the permanent solution is panel replacement and we cannot predict how long the display will work using this method it completely depends on user lack basis so that's it now the tv is repaired successfully hope you like this video if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notification see you in another video with other interesting topics thank you for watching